Heart friends, how's everybody doing? To close out the month, I decided to play around with something that frankly took a lot less thought. <laughs> um, so I did these galaxy bookmarks, kind of as just a way to relax and just to do something fun. Since there's no character involved in these, I didn't worry too much about composition or anything like that. I just laid the inks down and kind of let them do whatever they wanted. Oh, I should probably mention the surface that I'm working on here is, it's not actually watercolor paper, it's more of um, a cardstock. So back before I discovered an Amazon alternative, I used to just go to my local comic book store and get the, um, I don't know what they're called, comic book backer boards that you sit inside the sleeve of the comic book so it doesn't bend. Um, I used to get those and they would come in like a pack of 500 and they were too big for like my small prints so I just cut them down and it would leave me with perfectly bookmark shaped scraps. And in the interest of recycling, I kept all those scraps and I'm finally putting them to use. Now, I don't know if this is a universal trait, but there is kind of two sides to these backer boards. Um, one side is completely matte and the other side is kind of a semi-gloss, neither of which is good for putting watercolor. You can see my little tester all the way to the left there. Um, I did that with watercolor and the back side that was matte was just sucking up the watercolor and I wasn't being able to blend it at all. And then the front side, which is the side that I'm working on, since it was semi-gloss, it wasn't absorbing any of the watercolor. So when I went in with my second layer, it just completely lifted the first. All of this explanation to say that is why I used India inks for these bookmarks instead. So that way I could put down a layer, let it dry, and then still get dynamic color when I added the second layer. I also used acrylic white, silver, and gold to add accents like stars and clouds. But yeah, after that first test, everything else just kind of happened organically. And once I was done, I just finished them off with a clear gloss. Since I wasn't thinking too hard about the process of these, I started trying to figure out what am I going to do with all of these bookmarks, right? Over the past few months, I've updated my website and my shop, and I've been working on small accessories like keychains and stickers and pins, and I think these bookmarks would fit really well in that category. But it also got me thinking about my Patreon, which if you've been following along, I opened back in April and then I closed, I don't know, sometime in the fall. <laughs> um, I just realized that Patreon was taking more of a cut than I was comfortable with considering I only really had like two patrons. I was losing money via Patreon and losing money via shipping. So I shut it down until one, I can get a larger following and two, figure out better shipping. Since I've opened up my new shop through Square, I figured out that I can do a subscription service that doesn't cost me any extra from my other website hosting. And as long as I keep the packages small, then the shipping's not too bad. So these are the finished bookmarks. I thought for like half a second about punching a hole and adding a tassel, but I thought I'd just leave them the way they are and maybe play with some other design concepts in the future. I did also decide to send these out as New Year's gifts to my mom, my sisters, and a few friends back in Chicago, along with these half sheet coloring pages that also double as stickers when you're done with them. A few die cut stickers that I've been playing around with, one of my mini prints, and of course a handwritten letter. And then I packed them all up, added address labels, and got them ready to send out. 
So in lieu of sites like Patreon and Coffee, I've already set up a donation section on my Square site. And now I'll be adding what I'm calling ArtBits subscriptions. The mini print, which is about the size of a postcard, will be pulled from the painting that I'll showcase here on or around the 15th of the month. And then the other art bits will come from the small accessories portion of my shop. Any amount of support you guys can offer is much appreciated, even if that just means liking a video or subscribing on YouTube. I can't thank you guys enough for stopping by my channel and supporting my creative process. As always, I love you all so much for watching and I'll see you real soon in the next video. Bye!